Hey everybody! In this video we're going to talk about finding the asymptotes of a rational function quadratic over linear. Before we actually dive into this, we need to talk about one more type of asymptote. And these happen when we have a higher degree on the top than on the bottom. Okay. And if you remember, if we have a higher degree, so if n, the degree on the top, is more than m, then we don't have a horizontal asymptote. So we don't have an asymptote like this, but we do have a different kind of asymptote. Um, and that is called a slant or oblique asymptote. For rational functions, we have a numerator and a denominator, right? So a rational function will have a slant asymptote if the degree of the numerator is exactly one greater than the degree of the denominator. Remember, that fraction bar can also be talked, like we can say that's division, right? So to find an equation of the slant asymptote, we divide the numerator of the function by the denominator. So we actually do the long division. And then the quotient, so the answer minus our remainder, will be linear. And the slant asymptote will be the form y equals the quotient. So let's go ahead and do this example. So first, Let's go ahead and find the vertical. The vertical asymptotes are still going to be wherever the denominator equals 0, because we don't want the denominator to equal 0. So we get 2x equals negative 1, divide by 2, x equals negative 1 half. So we're going to have a vertical asymptote at x equals negative one half. All right, but what about the horizontal? Well, we already decided that there's no horizontal, right, because n is greater than m, the degree of the top is greater than the degree of the bottom, but because the degree of the top is two and the degree of the bottom is one, the degree of the top is one more than the degree of the bottom. So that means we're going to have a slant asymptote. The slant asymptote we'll, we'll get from actually doing this division. So we put the dividend underneath our long division bar, and the divisor outside, and then we do our long division. So 2x squared and 4x squared, 2x times 2x is equal to 4x squared. And then we have to do 2x times 2x plus 1 for our next line. So it's going to be 4x squared plus 2x. And we're subtracting all of that. So we'll get 0 here. 8x minus 2x is 4x, and then negative 9 minus 0 is just negative 9. Okay, now, how many times does 2x go into 4x? Well, that is a I just did some math wrong. Maybe you guys caught that. 8x minus 2x is a positive 6x. Okay, there we go. Now, 2x goes into 6x how many times? 3 times. And then 3 times our divisor is 6x plus 3 and I'm subtracting all of this. So my remainder ends up being 12. But what is the equation of my slant asymptote? It's gonna be y equals my quotient. And here's my quotient, 2x plus 3. So how do I graph that? Well, that's just a line at y-intercept 3 and then a slope of a positive 2. So I'm going to go up 2 and over 1. 
So my slant asymptote is, yes, still a dotted line because it's an asymptote. And then it has a slope of 2. So that's going to be all of the asymptotes of this function.